Who's up for Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen! No matter how many ice cream shops open up, Dairy Queen remains frozen treat royalty. So here are 10 reasons why Dairy Queen is so successful. Endless mix and match options. Feel free to mix and match. Dairy Queen offers a wide range of options when it comes to their ice cream or blizzards. When founder John Fremont McCullough opened his first store in 1938, he decided to create an all-you-can-eat buffet of ice cream with a range of options. He sold soft-serve cones for 10 cents at that time. On opening day, he had about 1,600 customers. DQ was definitely a hit. Fast forward to a couple years later, and the owners were faced with a problem. They were looking for a way to get customers out from the comfort of their homes and into DQ to buy some ice cream. This is when they started to test out the idea of adding food items like burgers, sandwiches, and fries to the menu. I know it'll sell. Sandy, we don't sell novelty items. The idea behind this was to get even more customers into DQ. Some famous mix and match options offered from the start were the banana split and cookie dough ice creams. They even offered waffle bowls and shakes. This was the beauty of DQ. The creativity was not limited to their menu items. Customers were able to walk in and create their own ice creams using the toppings they loved. Orange Julius Yeah, yeah, and they also have an Orange Julius. Orange Julius started out as Julius Freed's mission to find the perfect fruit-based drink. So he tested his concept out with things like egg whites, orange juice, and different fruit combos. One day, he found what he believed was the perfect combination of fruits and juices, which later became known as the Orange Julius. He then started marketing and selling his drink to others and soon gained popularity. In 1987, DQ saw the potential and decided decided to buy the company. Most importantly, you saw potential. They then started experimenting and adding a couple Orange Julius menu items to select DQ stores. This ended up selling really well in locations like malls and centers for shopping. Imagine walking into DQ on a hot summer day and having the option to get a refreshing fruit drink. Now there weren't only options for ice cream lovers, but smoothie lovers had a place at DQ as well. In the 1990s, DQ even tested out a frozen yogurt they called Breeze. However, in 2001, they stopped because it wasn't high in demand. Burgers, fries, and sandwiches. Love sandwich, burger well done, fries. Food items at DQ were quite similar to those at a typical fast food chain restaurant. They have items like burgers, sandwiches, fries, and even chicken baskets. People now had more of an incentive to go to DQ because they can enjoy a lunch or dinner while finishing off with the perfect dessert. And who wouldn't want that? It's almost like walking into the perfect place. Some limited locations even offered secret or exclusive menus where they sold hot dogs and barbecued beef. Woo, a hot dog! There are even some locations that are only open in spring and summer, and others that stay open all year round. There are some DQs that are smaller, where they only have limited menu items like ice creams, blizzards, and maybe smoothies. These are known as DQ treat locations. However, if you go to a bigger location known as Dairy Queen Grill and Chill, you will find that they have dine-in options and a much bigger menu, where they serve meals and drinks as well as ice creams and smoothies. Now, the next time you're craving DQ, try out the Grill and Chill locations where you can also enjoy full-on meals. DQ in other countries. Wow, this restaurant is so international. Dairy Queen franchises can be found in many different countries. What's super cool about this is that each country has something unique when it comes to DQ lovers' favorites. For instance, in China, one of the most popular blizzards is a green tea blizzard. A lot of DQ lovers there even stated they enjoy ordering the green tea blizzard and adding toppings to make it their own original. Whereas in America, the most famous blizzard is the Oreo blizzard. Places like Dubai and Bahrain are said to have some of the most aesthetically pleasing restaurant designs with state-of-the-art architecture. You can say that DQ is pretty fancy over there. Because we are an elite unit. Best. 
best. For a DQ fan, knowing that each country has its own menu puts it on a different level. Now when you travel around the world, you can try out different DQ locations and discover how it is represented uniquely in different places. You can try China's Green Tea Blizzard or Korea's Green Tea Red Bean Blizzard. The amazing thing is that DQ is not only international with franchise locations everywhere, but each country pours their own culture into the stores. The social spot. You gotta socialize. Yeah. I can socialize. Another cool thing about DQ is that it became a really good social spot for young millennials and teens. With indoor and outdoor dining, people love to come and just chill at DQ with their friends and family. With commercials and advertisements, they started heavily pushing DQ's grill and chill. This attracted a lot more customers because now teens had a place to hang out and have fun in the summer. It became a place to make memories while also trying out delicious food items and famous blizzards. Some of their famous advertising slogans were Meet me at DQ and this is fan food, not fast food. Even though people don't go to DQ to socialize as much anymore, it's still a place to bring fans together. Nowadays, there are drive throughs which people utilize way more, especially in the winter months. Now that we're moving towards a more technical world, employee and customer interactions are limited. You can walk into a Dairy Queen and just order through an app. We also have things like DoorDash and Uber Eats, where anything can be delivered to your door. Even if we are losing some of those social interactions, DQ never fails to leave a mark in the memories of fans. Increase of franchises. Hey, you opened a franchise! Dairy Queen is one of those places that you can find almost anywhere. The first DQ opened up in Joliet, Illinois, and it quickly took off. Customers were attracted by the soft serve ice cream, and they loved the variety. Now the number of franchises has grown tremendously. Today, they have more than 6,000 locations in the US and Canada alone. DQ is one of the biggest fast food chains in America, and it doesn't seem like this will change anytime soon. DQ is definitely a fan favorite with customers of all ages. They also have stores located all over the U.S. and some locations that are unique and very cozy to be in. Hey, this place is cozy, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. For example, in Texas, where it is very much loved, DQ is known as the Texas stop sign to fans. Texas has the most DQ franchises in the U.S. and even have their own unique menu with Texas brand tacos and even nachos. Yep, DQ also sells tacos and nachos. However, this is exclusive to the Texas locations. How awesome does that sound, munching on nachos and then getting your favorite blizzard afterward? By the way, DQ also has some of the best birthday ice cream cakes. Famous soft serve ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. DQ's famous soft serve ice cream was a hit right from when it first hit the market. People loved the idea of a perfect formula of soft serve ice cream. DQ really paved the way for a lot of ice cream brands later on. John Freeman McCullough was determined to find a formula of ice cream that wasn't too cold and hard. Instead, he wanted something soft and easy to enjoy. A perfect temperature where you would actually be able to taste the flavors of the ice cream. After what seemed like endless trials, he and his son ended up coming up with the perfect ratio. Once that was done, they worked hard on perfecting the swirl on top of their ice creams, which resembles the letter Q. Oh, it's nice. It's very unique. Eventually, DQ quickly became a hit and grew a global fan base. It can be found in over 27 countries. Another famous ice cream was the Dilly Bar. Fun fact, the Dilly Bar first started out in Moorhead, Minnesota, where it is still very much loved by locals. The Moorhead location, which was opened in 1949, is one of the oldest DQ locations and it hasn't changed its design and still has that 40s vibe, which a lot of customers appreciate. It's like taking a step back into history with its old school feel. Advertising. 
And that's some targeted advertising. Dairy Queen advertises in an interesting way. They don't only do commercials and catchphrases, but they plaster their ads on billboards, buses, and almost everywhere. DQ has invested heavily in their ads and spent a rough estimate of $100 million in recent ad campaigns. That's why DQ is so well known. They have plenty of commercials and ads that even come up on a lot of social media. DQ also tailored certain ads to targeted audiences. For instance, they had different commercials that featured families laughing and enjoying treats together, which showcased family bonds and memories, whereas other commercials were more humorous, with the famous red mouth that chomped on different DQ burgers. They also emphasized the sweet deals they were offering with various promotions. Using a variety of unorthodox methods, they heavily emphasized how you could have any meal for a great deal, and this attracted a lot of customers. Also, fans loved that DQ also donated to charity. DQ partnered with Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, so for every dollar a customer would spend, a dollar would be sent to the charity. The proceeds went directly to the foundation that supported children with terminally ill diseases. So customers were not only going to indulge on their favorite menu items, but they were also saving lives. It was the perfect win-win situation. The Blizzard He ordered an extra-large blizzard at Dairy Queen and finish! If you've ever been to DQ, you most certainly have tried one of their best-selling items, the blizzards. The blizzard is a staple and a standout on the DQ menu. It is the most loved item and a treat fans might never get sick of. The best thing about blizzards is that you won't ever grow tired of them. You can mix and match and build your own flavors. From chocolates to candies and cookies, combine them with your favorite ice cream and boom, you have a fierce combo. In the US, fans usually enjoy adding Oreos to their favorite Blizzard creations. Fun fact, DQ once tested out a spicy Blizzard with real jalapenos. Dairy Queen also makes a fun place to have birthday parties and celebrate with family since you can all have fun trying out the different toppings and flavors. And if you order one, chances are you were most likely served your blizzard upside down. This became a fun trick for both the customers and employees. It was almost like a game of chance. If your blizzard would drop to the ground, then you were guaranteed another one, and your blizzard was free. Free food! Another cool thing about this was that if an employee forgot to flip the blizzard upside down before handing it off to the customer, the customer could then ask for a coupon for a free blizzard on their next visit. Did you know that DQ has seasonal blizzards? Some of their delicious fall menu consists of sea salt toffee fudge, Reese's featuring cookie dough, and the Choco Dipped Strawberry Blizzard. And some of these specialty summer items include Girl Scout Thin Mints, Brownie Batter, Drumstick with Peanuts, and, of course, the Cotton Candy Blizzard. Collabs and Partnerships with Famous Movies no, I'm really enjoying this collaboration. There are so many cool facts about DQ. Famous band No Doubt formed right inside DQ. Gwen Stefani and other band members were employees at DQ and became close friends and one day decided to form a band. Another cool fact about DQ you might not know is that they actually were in partnership with famous movies, like the movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, where Universal Studios was giving out free blizzards, and they even came up with their own blizzard inspired by the movie. It was a delicious peanut butter and epic candy mixture with huge chunks of chocolate and fudge topping with vanilla soft serve. Tasty. You might be thinking, whoa, that sounds like a lot. But come on, they partnered with Jurassic World, one of the most famous movies of all time. And you know what they say, either go big or go home. And with that collaboration, they definitely went big. We're serving up more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad.